Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing extremely well. So today we will be solving the problem fractional knapsack from the SD sheet. So before moving on to the problem, if you are new to our channel, please, please, please do consider subscribing to this channel. So the problem states that you will be given weights and values of N items. Yes. And you need to put these items in a knapsack which is having a capacity W. Basically, you have a bag which has a capacity W and you need to put items in them. And your task is to get the maximum total value in the knapsack. I know the uh, problem statement is a bit confusing. So let me explain you the problem statement with the help of an example. So let's take this example where N is 3 and the weight is 50. So basically there is a knapsack which is having a weight of 50. So that means you can only load items in this bag till the weight of the bag doesn't exceed 50. Like you cannot take all those values like you decide to take 60, 100, 120. So if you take all of them, all of them will add up to give 10 plus 20 plus 30 which is 60 weight. So you cannot carry all of them. So your task is basically to decide what is the maximum value that you can take if you are following. It's not necessary that you take up this entire value and take up this entire weight. You can take a part of it. Now when I say a part of it, that basically means you can take a weight of 10, a weight of 20, a weight of 15, a weight of 16, anything. Like it can be any fractional weight of 30, you can take it, right? So that's that's about this question. So over here, the best thing to do will be to take this completely. That is, I'm taking a weight of 10, which will give me a value of 60. Then I decide to take this guy completely, which is having a weight of 20. And that's going to give me a value of 100. So these two guys are adding up to give me a weight of 30. So I still have 20 weight left. So what I decide is I take 20 weight of this. So I know 30 weight is giving me the value 120. So one weight will give me the value 120 by 30. So uh, 20 weight will give me the value 120 by 30 multiplied by 20, which is apparently nothing but 80 if you carefully do the multiplications you'll get the total weight of 80 so if i fill our knapsack by picking up weights the total value that i can collect is 240 and this is the maximum possible answer so the task of the problem is basically to print what is the maximum value that is possible over here it's 240 now since Unacademy has sponsored this video, let's talk about them. So we all know how important it is to have a great teacher. I guess that's why you guys come to my channel to learn. So Unacademy has onboarded some of India's best educators. So to name some of them, I can go with Sanket, I can go with Pulkit, Tanuj, Deepa, Kriya, Utkash. Now all of these guys do work at top product based companies. Along with that, they're really high rated at CodeChef and Code Forces. A lot of us are watching the roadmap videos and that's great. It's important to have a plan but you spending time on that is of no use if you don't attend lectures regularly and do the structured padhai. So to, if you want to do the structured padhai you can probably come to an academy and check out all their batches and courses that they are having so since the placement season is around the corner so there is a batch that is coming up that is zenith which is an interview preparation course in six months so you can check out all the topics that will be covered and this entire schedule from the link that will be given below in the description so just in case if you are willing to enroll in the batch or if you are willing to watch the other videos related to competitive programming, you probably can get a subscription from an academy. And if you're wanting to get one, you can use the coupon code take you forward and you'll get an additional 10% discount. So yeah, guys, go check it out. And just in case if you feel like taking one, go for it. So I hope you have understood the problem with the help of the previous example. So how are you going to solve this problem? So the question is to maximize the value. So our brain, whenever you get a task to maximize something, starts thinking greedily. And the greedy thinking will be to actually look for items, yes, to look for items which has a value per weight maximum. Like, I know uh, weight 10 is giving me a value of 60. But if I ask you what is one weight giving you, so that's going to be a 6. Basically, if I pick up our single weight, that's going to give you a value of 6. So if I pick up a single weight for this guy, this is going to give me a value of 5. If I pick up a single weight for this guy, 
This is going to give me a value of 4. So brain at first will try to pick up the first guy. Be why? Because this has the maximum value per weight. Yes, so I will try to pick up this guy at the first. And then I will try to pick up this. And then I will try to pick up this because the value per weight is decreasing as I move towards the right. Now, in this given test case, uh, it looks as sorted. But you might have test cases where the value per weight is not sorted. So the first step to solve this problem will be to sort the items in respect of value per weight because that is very important. That helps you to decide which is the first element that you pick up now what is your knapsack weight your knapsack weight is basically 50 so you know that you have sorted this items according to value per weight so this is your first guy with the value 60 and a weight 10 so if your knapsack is still having a weight of 50 will you not consider picking up the entire weight 10 instead of picking some fraction of it Yes, we will be because that will enable us to increase our value to a higher level. So I decide to pick the entire weight and I know if I pick up the entire weight, I'm going to get a value of 60. So probably you can carry a counter or a variable to add up these values because we require the summation of the values at the end. So after this, what I can do is I can go to the next guy. Now this guy's value per weight is 5. So will it be? good enough to pick the entire guy yes it will be good enough because i know towards the right the value per weight will be even lesser so why don't i pick up this entire guy and get the entire value because that will help us to increase our value much more so let's try to pick up this entire guy and that's going to give me a value of 100 after this when i go to the next guy again my tendency at first will be to pick up this entire guy yes the entire 30 weight but can i can i i've already picked up a weight of 30 and my knapsack had 50 weight so if i do 50 minus 30 the remaining weight will be 20 but i cannot pick up 30 because our knapsack can only permit a 50 weight so what i do is i decide to pick whatever is left so my knapsack does allow fractional elements to be picked so i have a weight of 20 left so what i do is of this third item i pick a weight of 20 and since i know the value per weight is 4 so when i pick up a item of 20 weight that gives me a value 20 into 4 that's 80 so i can add that up to my answer now just in case there were other values and weights you do not move further and you can stop at this third item because your knapsack will be filled up by this moment and you can stop. Now there is one more thing that you need to take care while you code this. Now over here our value per weight is an integer value but it might come up that your value per weight is a decimal value. So please do take care of your data types. Make sure they are double so that there is no loss of precision of your answers. So I can say I can break out after the third item has been done because the knapsack is filled and at the end our variable would have stored the summation which is 240 and that is going to be our answer. So the approach to solve this problem was very simple. At first we sort the value per weight in descending order and right after that what we do is if we are able to pick the item completely we pick it and if we are not we pick a fraction of it and we stop because the knapsack is filled up. So if I talk about the time complexity, it's going to be a n log n for sorting and a n for iteration and the space complexity is constant because we're not requiring any space complexity over here. So now it's time to discuss the C++ as well as the Java code. So in the Java code, you can see that you're given the weight that is of the knapsack. You're given the array. So basically, uh, we have a single array where you have the value as well as the weight. And you have the size of that array that is INTN. So what we do initially is we initially sort the array and we use a comparator to do that. So a comparator will basically find out the value per weight for both the items. And what we do is we sort them in the descending order. Now, if you're using Java, you must be knowing these conventions of comparator or you can Google comparator. You'll easily get to know. So I have sorted them according to the descending order. Now, once that is done, so what I do is I start picking up 
items yes i start moving from the first because i've sorted the array in the descending order so at first i check if whatever currently i'm carrying yes whatever currently i'm carrying that is initially zero and if i add the current item completely will that be inside our knapsack weight yes if it is what i do is i simply pick up the entire item and add it to our current weight and i add that value to my answer but what if that is exceeding knapsack so i'm going to pick a fraction of it so what i do is i figure out what is the remaining amount of knapsack so that's basically the knapsack weight minus the current weight that i have picked up and what i do is i find the value per weight of the current item yes that i'm going to pick a fraction of it and i just multiply the remaining that i'm going to pick and i can easily get the value for the fraction of item that i'm picking and what i can do is i can add it to the value right after that i can break because i know the knapsack is filled and i'm not going to get any further items picked up so once this complete iteration is done you can return the final value that will be your maximum value so you can see that over here we are given a single array which is going to have the value as well as the weight so we have the weight of the knapsack as well as the array as well as the number of elements in the array at the first step we know that we are going to sort the array in the descending order so i'm just writing a comparator where it is going to sorted according to the value per weight in the descending order so if you don't know how to write a comparator probably you can watch my c++ stl video and you'll find the comparator over there right after that what i do is i initialize couple of variables one variable to maintain the current weight of all the items that i have picked up while the other variable is to basically keep a count of the value that i am picking up after that we can start iterating from the first element because i know the first element is having the value per weight maximum and we are going to pick it so what i see is if the current weight plus the item that i am picking is fitting in knapsack completely so basically the current weight at the initial stage will be zero and the item that i'm picking up if that adds up and still fits up in the knapsack that is lesser than or equal to w so what i can say is i can completely pick up this item so i can simply add it to the current weight and since i'm completely picking up the item i can take up the entire value and add it up to our final value now once this is done what if it's not completely fitting up in the knapsack in that case i have to pick a fraction of that item so what i do is i find out what is the remaining amount that is left in our knapsack that can be filled and whatever is the remaining amount left i simply multiply that into the value per weight of the current item and i add it to our final value and after i've done this i know the knapsack is filled up so i can simply break out so once i have done for all the items or i have breaked out i can say that the maximum value will be stored in this variable and i can simply return it so guys i hope you understood the entire algorithm as well as the code so just in case you did please make sure to like this video and if you are new to our channel please 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 do not forget to hit that subscribe button with this i'll wrap up this video let's meet in some other video where we will be solving some other problem from the sd sheet